right, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be playing a game called Serum Run. This is loosely inspired by the 1925 Serum Run to Gnome. I think Balto was as well. I don't actually know slash remember, so don't quote me on that. A remote Arctic town is facing an impeding diphtheria outbreak. All of the town's antitoxin serum is expired. The only way to get the serum to them in time is by dog sled. The journey will be perilous. Godspeed. So I think this is Oregon Trail-like. We'll probably try to get the ending a few times. We'll see if we can get all the way to the end. It's like two items before you set out. Shotgun, bedroll, harmonica, kerosene lamp, saucepan. Um, let's do shotgun and a bedroll. You head out into the endless night. Where to next? First roadhouse is four hours away. A blizzard starts. Okay. Gunner is now cold. There's no sound but the heavy breathing of the dogs. A blizzard rages around you. It will take at least 48 hours to reach your final destination. Only 70 hours remain. What? Oh, I see what it means. It means like... We need a minimum of 48. We have 70. You continue past miles of inhospitable landscape. A blizzard rages around you. A pack of wolves emerge from the night behind you, bearing down on you with a surprising sense of purpose and coordination. They're coming quickly, but your dogs are faster. Hopefully. Outrun them. You urge the dogs to run faster. They don't need any convincing. Eventually, the wolves give up, and you escape with your life. Gunner seems shaken by the encounter. We can't, like, use all our resources day one. You arrive at a small roadhouse. A fire crackles in the fireplace. This room is equipped with adequate bedding for your whole party. We should rest by the fire. Gunner is no longer cold. Wild Bill is no longer cold. That's good. Gunner is terrified. No one seems to be hungry. You head back out into the endless night. Where to next? Next roadhouse. Leonard is now hungry. The harsh and unforgiving landscape rushes past as you continue on your way. A blizzard rages around you. Jack is now hungry. Imposing scenery passes you by. It's too cold for you to appreciate the hostile beauty of the Arctic. A blizzard rages. Blizzard starts? Wait, we just had one. Leonard is now cold. There isn't a breath in this land of death as you hurry, horror-driven. You arrive at a small roadhouse. Let's see. So we have two hungry. Let's eat. Um, status, hypothermic, cold. Let's get a good night's sleep. Is now merely cold, no longer cold. Let's rest again. Okay, and then let's... Hunter is terrified. We have 53 hours. We make... Let's play the piano. Okay, well, let's not play the piano in the future because uh, that did not help poor Gunner. You head back out into the endless night. Where to next? Um, Miser's Valley. You spot a long forgotten lonely cairn of stones. <gasps> Buried beneath the cairn, you find only weathered broken bones. Poor Gunner. Imposing scenery passes you by. It's too cold for you to appreciate the hostile beauty of the Arctic. We have 50 hours, 38 remain. There is no sound but the heavy breathing of the dogs. 36, we have 48. There isn't a breath in this land of death as you hurry, horror driven. You arrive at a small roadhouse. A fire crackles in the fireplace. This room is equipped with adequate bedding for your whole party. There is an upright piano in the corner of the room. 46 hours remain. You are not alone here. You notice a bearded old man eating at a table in the corner. Approach. You approach the old man, he glares at you. What are you doing here? The living diphtheria serum to avert the, an epidemic. Why would you do that? The man seems unimpressed. 
You save hundreds of lives! Who says they need saving? What if it's just their time to die? What if it's not? The old man grunts dismissively. If it wasn't their time to die, then God wouldn't have sent them to Ethereum. That is not how that works. Even if- Okay, I'm not religious and that's, you know, fine. It doesn't matter. But if I were, right? If we are in this setting, God helps those who help themselves. That is something that you learn reading the Bible. I've read it. I've been there. I know. But we should leave him alone. You decide not to pursue this any further. We don't need to squabble in the blizzard. Cold, traumatized, terrified, cold. All right, let's sit by the fire. Um. Honestly, he's traumatized and terrified, but like, what can playing the piano really do? So let's get back on the road. You head back out into the endless night. Gunner and Wild Bill are having a heated argument. Gunner believes that pineapple goes well on pizza. Wild Bill disagrees. Resolve in favor of Gunner. Uh oh. Wild Bill is mad and hypothermic. You continue past miles of inhospitable landscape. A blizzard rages. Your path is blocked by a river. The bridge over the river appears to have collapsed, but the river seems to be frozen anyway. Oh no, I don't know how much time I have. Um, I think we have time, so let's try to be safe. You spend some time repairing the bridge and cross the river safely. Jack is hungry. The harsh and unforgiving landscape rushes past you as you continue on your way. The sky is clear. We have 38 hours. Gunner is cold. Um, too hostile to appreciate the beauty. Uh, we arrive at a small roadhouse. Okay, let's eat. Let's sleep. Wild Bill is... Okay, 29 hours remain. Let's get back on the road. You continue past miles of inhospitable landscape. 26, we have 27, so we have to be careful. You hit a bump in the trail. Leonard gets roughed up a bit. Gunner and Leonard are cool. A harsh, unforgiving landscape rushes past. 24, we have 25. We're doing good. No! Wild Bill is hypothermic! There's no sound but the heavy breathing of the dogs. You approach the next roadhouse. It looks dark. The door seems to be damaged, hanging off the hinges. Investigate. There seems to be blood on the walls of the roadhouse. Outside the building, two roughly human-sized objects are buried under freshly fallen snow. Let's leave. Oh no, my boys are hypothermic. Everybody's gonna die. No, Gunner is dying of hypothermia! Oh, A hailstorm starts. Hailstones the size of eggs are falling all around you. It will take at least 16 hours. No! We have to outrun them, right? Jack is shaken by the encounter. Small roadhouse. All right. We don't really have time. Gunner is poor dead Gunner. Oh my god. <sighs> Who's hungry? Only one is hungry. Let's rest again and then go. Last roadhouse. You continue past miles of an inhospitable landscape. Only 13. Ah. Uh, we're gonna. Wild Bill is starving. We're down an hour. Oh, Jack seems to have contracted dysentery. Jack is hungry while Bill is hypothermic. Breathing of the dogs. We don't have time to re repair. Your path is blocked. The bridge over the river appears to have collapsed, but the river seems to be frozen anyway. We're gonna have to cross. You attempt to cross the frozen river. Fortunately, the ice holds firm and your entire party makes it across safely. You arrive at a small roadhouse. We don't have time for this. This is the last place to rest before your final destination. Everybody is going to die. Jack is starving. There isn't a breath in this land of death as you hurry. Oh, Jack has died of dysentery. Leonard is now hungry. 
Wild Bill has also died. The harsh and unforgiving landscape rushes past you as you continue on your way. Hailstorm starts. Hypothermic. There's no sound with the heavy breathing of your dog. Uh-oh. Unfortunately, you did not get to the town fast enough to advert the epi epidemic. Thousands will perish. Gunner, Wild Bill, and Jack died in vain. Ugh! No! Maybe... Wait, why, why don't I have a restart option? Okay, we'll be right back. All right, we're gonna go again. Let's go. Bedwell was important. Maybe saucepan, I guess. Jack and Gunner are having a heated argument. Gunner claims that happiness is not, oh, is unattainable. Jack disagrees. I have to resolve in favor of Jack. Um, sky is clear. What the? A log half covered by the deep snow emerges out of the darkness ahead. By the time you see it, there's no time to turn or stop the sled. Leonard breaks a leg in the ensuing collision. Oh my, a sky comes alive in an awe-inspiring array of colors. You arrive at a small roadhouse. Why isn't anyone like, wow, so good, I feel better. We don't need to sleep, so let's just do the first two. Okay. A hailstorm starts. Oh, everybody tired. Imposing scenery, passes by. Um. You attempt to cross the frozen river. As you pass the middle point of the river, the ice cracks and Leonard falls into the icy water. Leonard is cold, hypothermic. Fortunately, they make it out alive. However, your bedroll is lost in the stinking depths of the river. No! Oh, how pretty. We got it twice this run. We arrived right at a small roadhouse. Get a good night's sleep using bedroll. We don't have a bedroll? The fireplace is unlit and the room is cold and damp. There is an upright piano in the corner. You go to sleep shivering. You wake up even colder. Everyone is not tired. <sighs> Merely coldest. Good. Let's go. Uh, let's go to Gambler's Gulch. Hailstorm starts. There's no sound but the heavy breathing of the dogs. We have 50 out of 38 that we need. You continue past miles of inhospitable landscape. Very large hailstones. <gasps> well, both starving and cold. Gunner and Jack are starting to fall in love. Allow it. They are now in a romantic relationship. Enjoy. You arrive at a small roadhouse. Okay. A fire crackles in the fireplace. There is an upright piano in the corner of the room. Some cooking supplies are available. You are not alone here. Some shady looking folks are playing craps in the corner. Let's eat a warm meal because we hungry. Okay, in love, broken leg, hungry. Um, let's, a let's approach the gamblers. Wild Bill approaches the gamblers. One of them looks up. Wanna play? They ask. Sure. How's this for a wager? My Bible versus your saucepan. Accept. No! You accept. Wild Bill rolls the dice. Snake eyes. You lose. The gamblers happily accept your saucepan from you. All right, let's get back on the road. Wild Bill is now cold. There isn't a breath in this land of death as you hurry, horror driven. 32, we have 42. Um, nothing new. Jack is now cold. <gasps> Whoa! The sky is set aflame in a deeply menacing shade of red. It's the love. It's the love vibes. It's coming for them. You arrive at a small row house. Adequate bedding for the whole party. That's great. Get a good night's sleep. In love. Broken leg. Stressed. Cold hungry. Let's have a cold meal. Let's get some sleep. Okay, because everyone's going to get warm. All right. 
The sky lights up in a dazzling array of colors. Pretty... so many this run. You continue past miles of inhospitable landscape. I think I would like if there was a little more stuff happening with this, but I think maybe this was made for, like, intentionally kind of limited to see what you could do. I like it. I'm liking it so far. We have... Uh, we have to have 26, we have 29, so we have a little extra time. We have to be really careful. We're doing, we're doing good so far. We approach the next roadhouse. It looks dark. The door seems to be damaged, hanging off the hinges. Investigate. There's blood, so it doesn't matter which route we go. I'm gonna enter. Gunner enters the building, waking up the giant polar bear sleeping in the corner! It raises up to a truly staggering height, growling and baring its teeth. We can't leave Gunner, he's in love. <gasps> no! You attempt to engage in unarmed combat with a polar bear! Amazingly, you kill the bear, but Gunner dies. No! No! Man. Eat a cold meal. Oh my gosh. A pack of wolves emerge from the night behind you, bearing down on you with a surprising sense of purpose. Outrun them! Wild Bill is shaken by the encounter. Jack is now heartbroken after losing their lover! No! <sighs> oh my gosh, Wild Bill is now broken a leg. Oh. Wild Bill is cold. 18 of 19, the sky comes alive again, go away. Leonard is cold. Roadhouse, okay, we have to get a good night's sleep so everybody should be warm. Okay, back on the road. Oh no, I fucked up. 14 hours, nine remain, uh-oh, we, we uh, did not make it in time so we're just gonna push through. Yeah. Jack is tired. Yeah, thousands will perish. Gunner died in vain. Fuck. Yo, we're out here killing everybody. Alright, we'll go. Did the saucepan really matter? There's tech piano. What is a tech piano? Let's just get some food and head out. You hit a bump in the trail. Gonna get a bit roughed up. Jack is cold. The fireplace is unlit and the room is cold and damp. This room is equipped with adequate bedding for your whole party. Alright, let's light a fire and sleep. I get back on the road. Miser's Valley. You notice a crack forming in the side of your sled. We have to fix it, right? You stop for an hour to reinforce the damaged portion of the sled. What if we- what if it's like Balto and we ruin some of the stuff, huh? Pack of wolves. Outrun them. Gunner is shaken. Roadhouse. Um, push the old man. Why would you say something like that? What if it's not? I'm gonna fight him. Wild Bill comes out with a broken nose. Wild Bill punches the man in the face. A fracas ensues. Then I'll teach you to mess with God's plan, cackles the old bastard. You decide not to pursue this any further. Boo! Gunner's terrified, bruised. Wild Bill has a broken nose. Let's... Let's do fire and meal and then just leave. Um, Gunner is terrified, so I'm gonna resolve in favor of Gunner for pineapple and pizza. Leonard is tired. Um, let's leave it so we don't horrify my boys. Flame. Oh, Bill is tired. Who did I make mad? Wild Bill. I will resolve in favor of Wild Bill so he doesn't get like so mad. Leonard and Wild Bill are having a heated argument. 
You know, he claims that air travel will never be commercially viable. Well, Bill disagrees. Leonard didn't like that. You arrive at a small roadhouse. All right, so we're tired and cold. Let's get a good night's sleep. Jack is cold. Full meal or fire? How much time do we have? 32, let's get back on the road. Pack of wolves, we'll outrun them. Leonard is shaken, Gunner is hungry. 26, we have 30, it's a pretty good time. Oh, the sky is orange now, I think, I don't... Oh, it's like orange and red, it's fading between them. Oh, cute, I didn't even notice. You get the feeling that there's something unnatural out in the darkness. Gunner is not feeling great. <gasps> Leonard is now hypothermic. Cross the river. Fortunately, the ice holds firm, yay! It looks dark. The door seems to be damaged, hanging off the hinges. All right. Blood on the walls. Enter the building. <gasps> Fight the polar bear. Will grabs the, or Wild Bill grabs the shotgun and shoots the bear several times. It puts up a brave fight, but your party eventually kills it and escapes mostly unarmed. Jack obtains some minor injuries. That's good. Let's light a fire because people are hypothermic. Yeah. Uh, I don't think we have enough time to sleep, so we'll rest twice and eat. Okay. 20 to 20, so we cannot lose any more time. Hypothermic, no! We have to go. I mean, if you die, you die. Jack is cold, tired. A blizzard starts. No, Wild Bill is hungry and tired. Oh, wow. You hit a bump in the trail. Wild Bill gets roughed up a bit. <gasps> it ain't being dead. It's the awful dread of the icy grave that pains. Gunner is not feeling great. You arrive at a small roadhouse. We have to get going. We don't have time. Gunner is hungry. T Gunner is tired. There's a cross. Okay, it holds firm. Yes. <gasps> Wild Bill is now all hypothermic. Gunner is exhausted. We can keep going. We can do it. Four hours. Bump in the trail. Leonard gets roughed up a bit. <gasps> hypothermic. Tired. Exhausted. Our boys are having a hard time. Only two hours remain. Jack is hungry. <gasps> Leonard and Jack are starting to fall in love. Allow it. Allow it. You guys are going to make it. <gasps> Yay! At last you arrive at your destination with the serum safely intact. The epidemic is averted. Woo! We did it! Yay! Okay. I really like it. I do wish that there were slightly different endings and some CGs that would pop up. I would love to see this like sleeping mound in a corner of a cabin, see it slowly like rise up over a couple of frames and then just be this giant polar bear face and claws in our way. And then an epic shot if you survive of like Wild Bill or whoever fending it off. I would love to see the gamblers. I'd like to see the old man. I really like it as it is. I think the limited assets is not bad, but I would love to see just a slightly bigger, longer version of this where we do have the impact of a couple frames of animation to really give us a feeling of it being different and, you know, a, like a big payoff just with nice visuals. I like the background. I like the art. I also kind of wish that there were more differences to the dialogue that we get because it's kind of samey. So as you saw, I was just kind of rushing through it at the end. But overall, it's very rewarding. I'm so surprised that they can fall in love. Oh my god. But we did it! If you like this game, please let me know what you think. If you would improve anything about the game, what would you improve? What do you want to see it change if they were to make any changes? I doubt they will, but, you know, it's fun, right? Um, I love the dogs. I wish the dogs had names. And I wish that we get a little bit of info about them. I wish that we could pet them or snuggle with them in like the cabins and stuff. Wow, what a cute game. I really like it. I'm presuming this was made just by one guy. I don't know. I think it was for a game jam. If you would like to follow the developer and see what else they make in the future, hit up the itch link in my description. I'm sure they would love to know what you think as well. So you could give them a couple comments about the game. Otherwise, let's spin it. And I will see you in the next game. Bye! Congratulations on the love!